Hey, what's going on my fellow jewelers? So today we are taking necklaces that I probably would never wear into something that I would love to wear. So you wanna see, we're taking this old necklace, this pearl necklace, super old, not my style. I know pearls are in, but I wanna make it into something I would actually wear. And then I'm taking this beauty. Now I probably would've worn this like 15, 10, 15 years ago, but not really anymore. I've been cute with my outfit, be like, ooh, I like that. Not anymore. So there is a new trend where it's like half pearl, half chain necklace or bracelet. Now I've already done a video where I did a necklace like that, but since I have these beauties that I want to remake, um, I'm going to totally make it into a bracelet today. Now I want to give a shout out to Mary. Mary's the one that sent me these necklaces. She said, uh, she contacted me and her husband, uh, demolitions and flips houses, I think, something like that. And when he finds treasures, he brings it home and she, he brought home a boatload of jewelry. And so she thought of me, thank you so much, Mary, for thinking of me. And I got a ton of jewelry that I wouldn't wear. And so I'm excited to repurpose it. Now I want to encourage you, you may have jewelry in your home or you may have family members that give you jewelry because uh, you're a jewelry maker, right? And so think about ways you can repurpose them. So before we get started making this fabulous bracelet, make sure you subscribe my channel and click that bell get notifications because guess what i'm all about the how to the jewelry making i make beaded jewelry i make resin jewelry and i got your back so i know i'm excited to repurpose these necklaces i know you're excited to watch me so you and me let's get started Ooh, i'm so excited so just so you know the tools and the materials are all listed in the description below so if you want the same tools as me or just to kind of see what material um i am using for this bracelet you can go ahead and check that out so let's go let's go okay so the first thing i want to do is um this necklace i want to take it apart i want to take um i mainly want to get the big chain and i want to take off the beads and take off um the small chain i will definitely be using um some of these and put them aside for a later date um for my other jewelry pieces but yeah i mean it's just taking apart right now so let's go fast forward and let's do this baby Okay, now that I've taken it apart, um, I even want to save the lobster class because that will be great uh, for this bracelet as well. Any piece you can use um, from repurposing uh, the jewelry pieces that you're taking apart, do it. Like save as many pieces as possible because you can always use probably a lot of it or most of it. So now I'm gonna take apart uh, the pearl necklace, which is just easy. Just cut the string and go do 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 do. All right, super easy when it comes to just taking it apart. Wasn't very long, took a couple minutes. Now I want to measure the chain. I want the chain to be um, half way, um, I want half chain, half pearl. And so I kind of got to look around and measure uh, to get where I want. Um, and so I am going to probably do about that much. Plus I have my lobster class, which will make the chain a little bit longer. And these are just links that have a split in it. So they're really easy to open. Um, and so I'm just going to open um, this link right here, open it up. This will be trash. I don't like reusing links like that. I feel like they're damaged. Um, after you do that. So I didn't really use much chain and I can use this chain for another time. Ooh, this is getting exciting. So now I want to uh, pick my pearls. Not every pearl is the same because they're all freshwater, so they're all different. So I'm gonna pick my pearls and then I'm gonna start stringing them and I'm gonna make the string as long as my, um, my chain pretty much. So I'm gonna measure how long I want my pearls with according to how long my, my chain is. So that's pretty easy. I don't have to really do much measuring after that. So I'm gonna string my pearls right now. Okay, I got my pearls all strung. Um, you could attach the wire to um, the the chain, but when you do that, the chain does have a slight, they all have um, a slit in it, right? Like a opening. And so I find that I need to add a jump ring when I'm adding um, like a string of beads to chain because the jump ring somehow keeps it. I know the jump ring has a slit in it too, but not as big as one. And so I'm gonna open my jump ring first and I am going to put it on my chain right there gonna be like that 
and then making sure there's no gap because that would be bad, right? Um, and then I am going to take my my pearl. So I got my wire. I'm gonna get my crimping bead. I'm gonna add one crimping bead on and then I'm going to uh, put my jump ring on right there. Put this around like that. Do you see how like that is? And then I'm gonna put this wire through the crimping bead. And so we're gonna go like this. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm going to crimp it like that. And then I'm going to string my pearls through my wire. I don't know if you can hear my neighbors. They have their music on really, really loud. Oh my gosh, sorry. I just have neighbors that like music really loud. Woohoo! Okay, so now that we have it, oh gosh, look at that. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. That's gonna be a cute bracelet. This is a very simple bracelet, like super simple. I mean, you can get these materials at Walmart or Michael's or Joann's and make this bracelet on your own. You don't need to go find some like two necklaces and put them together and make a bracelet. This is an easy bracelet you can do at home on your own. Okay, so now I want to put my clasp on. So I'm gonna get another jump ring. I'm going to open my jump ring up. I'm gonna put my clasp on, my lobster clasp. The lobster clasp I'm, I wanna reuse because it can easily connect to the chain right here. And then I am going to cut um, my, my wire. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my crimping bead on. My finger did not wanna put it on. And then I'm gonna get um, my jump ring with my clasp on it. And I'm going to put the wire around my clasp like that and I am going to put my wire through the jump ring. No, the crimping bead, sorry. That music is messing me up, <laughs> my neighbor's music. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab a hold, like I'm gonna grab the wire, the excess wire, and pull it, because you don't wanna gap when it, right there, you don't wanna gap. And so I'm gonna make sure there's a little bit of give, there's not, I'm gonna make sure there's a little bit of give, and then I'm going to crimp it like that, and I'm gonna cut off a little bit of that excess, like that, I'm gonna cut off the excess, and then I'm gonna put the wire back through the bead because you don't want it poking out, and you're gonna have a little bit of excess. You could totally call it a day and have a fabulous bracelet, but I wanna put a crimping cover over the crimping bead to make it look just a little bit nicer. I feel like with a pearl uh, jewelry piece, you kinda of wanna spruce it up. So I have two crimp covers. I'm gonna show you how to do one and I'm gonna do the other. Okay, Ooh, we're almost done, we're almost done. So now we're gonna take our crimping cover like this and I'm gonna find my crimping bead and I'm gonna put it just over my crimping bead. It's kinda of like Pac-Man eating um, one of the one of the things that Pac-Man eats. And so we're just gonna close it up and it looks like a silver bead and it just spruces up the whole bracelet. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness, this bracelet, I'm telling you. I love the pearls I can wear them on top and then the chain underneath, or I can even just go half and half on top. Look at that, I can go half and half on that. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love this bracelet so much. I love that I repurposed because I would have never worn those necklaces at all. I wouldn't have worn them. Some of you were like, Des, I love those necklaces. Like, why'd you destroy them? Because I never would have worn them. But I want to hear from you. Comment, share, like. I love hearing, oh my gosh, I love hearing from you guys. I love responding to you guys. But I also want you commenting about things you've repurposed. Have, did you have a stash of your own and you repurposed it into something else? Did someone give you some um, some jewelry and you redid something or did your like mom or grandma pass stuff down to you and you were able to make it into something else? I wanna hear from you and if you have pictures, totally send it to me on my Des Butler jewelry on Facebook. I would love to see pictures. So that's all I got for you guys today. Before I go, I love praying for my viewers. I love praying for you. And I felt like the Lord wanted me to pray for our kids, for your kids. Like as a mom, there I, there is nothing more in my life that I want than for my kids to be healthy, to be happy, to, um, to thrive, to, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? All of that, all that protection. And so I want to pray for your kids, ones you've raised, ones you've helped raise, when you just all, 
everywhere and anywhere in between, um, even for those that are waiting to have kids. So God, I thank you, God, for our kids. Lord, I pray, God, that they would hear your voice. God, I pray that they would know you. God, I pray for protection for them, for those that maybe um, their kids are in the military, maybe they're out doing dangerous things. I pray protection over them. God, I pray for um, the kids that, that just not knowing who they are, God, that you would show them exactly who you made them be. God, you made them, you created it, you designed them so wonderfully. God, I pray that they would know their identity in you and who you made them to be, God. And just, I pray for provision. I pray that you would just cover our kids in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Guess what? I'm going to catch you in the next video. Bye!